In this video, I'm going to show you how to check the CPU temperature in your Windows 11 computer. So checking the temperature can be useful if your computer is overheating and we can do this nice and easily by heading over to an internet browser and just searching for hwinfo64 space download and hit enter. And then we need to click on this top website, which is hwinfo.com. And that should take you over to the official downloads page. Now, if you scroll down on the left hand side, you'll see this installer. Click on free download and select SourceForge. Now, just give that a couple of seconds while it goes and downloads to your computer. And once it's downloaded, it should end up in your downloads folder over here. Now, this is a completely free and safe tool to use. You can go and upload this file to any virus checker and it's completely safe. So what we're going to do is just open up this file like so and then go through the steps to install it onto your system. So I'm just going to press next, agree to the terms and conditions and press next, click on next, press next again and select install. So once it's finished installing, make sure to tick launch HW info and press finish. Click on start. And now what we can do is just close out of this window here. And we're also going to close out of these windows. And this is the one that we need. So I'm going to maximize this on the screen so we can see it. Click on sensors in the top navigation. And that should bring up this window here. So in order to find your CPU temperature, just scroll all the way down this list. And right here, you're going to be able to see all of your CPU temperatures. So the most important numbers to know are these top two here, the CPU and also the CPU core. And in the right hand column, you're going to to get an average number for your CPU temperatures. So you can see on my computer, it sits somewhere at around 86 Celsius, which is actually really high. So anything really above 80 Celsius is considered extremely high. And you may want to consider optimizing your system to try and bring this temperature down. I do actually have a video on how to reduce your CPU temperatures, but typically you can expect a number here between 40 and 60. That's considered kind of like the average range. And it's as simple as that, guys. If you did find this video helpful then let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.